And you may die, perhaps even rot away before my very eyes. I can wait in the end. But for now, sit down. Welcome to... It is a great... What dost thou see? Yes. If only I could... How did you... Do not listen. If we had my brother... O oh, sister, stern, terrible Castula, seek us not. I know you're here. Welcome, visitor. Pay us no attention. No, I am no. I understand. I remember when if you held it, you would never. Yes, Castula, now where have you gone? One, this is no place for anyone. Can you not see that death breathes the very air that dries our throats? That it walks in our footsteps? You cannot even hear the cries for the dead. For here, even crying is forbidden. I will remain in the shadows, sheltering behind these bars, so you cannot look upon my diseased countenance. But although no one has ever managed to find out who he really is, I can reveal to you a name. Casto. How ominous that name sounds when spoken in these shadowy enclaves. I may have something for you. If so, be sure to take it and go. have acquired the last of my goods. However, we never know when the miracle will bestow new blessings upon us. Do you not notice how death enfolds us and shelters us? Do you not notice how it dries up the very tears in our eyes? It is my prison, my companion, my guardian, for all that is dead accompanies me, and all that is not yet dead will soon die and wither by my side. What sins did I commit to merit such a heavy penance? I am the ruin of what I once was. Cursed with the ever more bitter need to survive, I ended up stealing in the foulest of ways. I stole from the rich. I stole from the poor. I even stole from the dead. What crime can there be in taking possession of what no longer has a master? Leave me alone. I feel something devouring me inside. 
like flies swarming over a dead body. And so it was that I managed to get into a house that appeared to be uninhabited. Inside, I found an elderly woman lying on her bed. She had been dead for some time. There was no one standing vigil over her. She was alone. Alone in the deep sleep of death. The fearful stench was so intense that it seemed to emanate from that rigid body and mingle with the light that drifted in through the immaculately pale curtains from the outside street lamps, creating the most dismal of atmospheres I had ever experienced. It was the chamber of death itself. Oh, death, who is ever by my side, you will not have to wait much longer. I robbed the old woman in her bed. I took from her what was no longer hers, but rather belonged to death itself. When I reached my hiding place, I was racked with terrible pangs of guilt that have not ceased to intensify and ever torment my body and mind. What is this trembling you bring me, O oh death? What is this coldness that I feel, both inside and out? Doth thee already seek me? Oh, so much death all around me. So many maggots creeping over so many dead bodies immersed in the mire. So many flies announce the arrival of the rotting queen with their mournful dances and incessant buzzing. The body of the lady lies before our victorious feet. Her curse and the curse of this place are lifted. My promise has been fulfilled by dint of your help, Penitent One. Before continuing on your journey, first take this as a sign of our blessed bond. Farewell, Penitent One, on the straightest of paths. I may have something for you. If so, be sure to take it and go. You have acquired the last of my goods. However, we never know when the miracle will bestow new blessings upon us. Penitent one, I must ask an undeserved favor of you before my last tremor comes upon me. Return this pendant, over which no one stands vigil, to the chamber inhabited by naught but the resounding footsteps of solitude.
that blinds me, yet fills me with sheer joy. Are you, perchance, life? The very same that will finally open the locks to my rusty bars, liberating me from my damnation. <laughs>